Hello world! Welcome back to another Try Hack Me Challenge Room video. In this video, we'll be walking through the Challenge Room security footage. Let's get into it. Perform digital forensics on a network capture to recover footage from a camera. If you scroll down, you'll see that there's only one task here titled security footage. The description of the task reads, someone broke into our office last night, but they destroyed the hard drives with the security footage. Can you recover the footage? Note, if you are using the attack box, you can find the task files inside the root room security footage directory. Well, we're not going to use the attack box to solve this. We're just going to download it to our local host. So go ahead and click download task files. And you're going to get this security footage PCAT file. I already have it downloaded here in our challenge directory. If you open it up in Wireshark, you're going to notice there's a bunch of TCP packets and some HTTP packets. Now we can go to statistics and protocol hierarchy like we usually do for these kinds of challenges, but we don't really need to for this. If you right click and follow TCP stream, you're going to notice that there's only one TCP stream. So there's only one stream that we even need to look at, which is stream zero. Now if you start scrolling down, you're going to notice that there's HTTP requests. And in these HTTP requests are JPEG images as indicated by the content type here. You can also see the source code of the JPEG images here, as we can recognize the magic byte strings JFIF and EXIF, which are common headers inside of JPEG images. If you keep scrolling down, you're going to notice that there's more than one JPEG image being sent. Here's another one right here. And if we keep scrolling again, you'll find another one here, and so on so forth. Now that being said, we know that the raw source code of these JPEG images is being sent across these HTTP packets. So how do we go about extracting those JPEG images? Well normally, with HTTP requests, you could do file, export, objects, and then HTTP, but that doesn't return anything. So there's got to be another way to do it. Well we can carve those JPEG images out with a simple file carving tool. You can use Benwalk or Foremost for this. I actually ended up using Foremost because it was a lot faster than Benwalk and it gave me more organized carved files. So we're gonna go to my Kali box here. And as you can see, I already have the file accessible in the shared challenge directory from my host device. And we're gonna just run Foremost on that PCAT file. Now give it a few seconds and it's gonna finish and it's gonna show you this little asterisk right here. If we do LS, we're going to see an output directory right here. If we CD into that output directory and do ls again, you're going to notice that there's a JPEG folder. Whenever Foremost carves files out, it always organizes the files into the extensions that they belong to. So in this case, we only had JPEG images in that PCAT file, at least as far as files that were recognizable by the Foremost utility itself. So if we CD into JPEG, you're going to notice that there are a bunch of JPEG images that have been carved. Now we're going to go back to my Windows host device here, and we're going to actually navigate into that output folder. This is the same shared folder that we're navigated into inside of our Kali box. If we go inside output and JPG, you're going to notice a bunch of images of what looks to be a phone that's scrolling through our flag string, which is what we need to submit for this challenge. So these are clearly frame by frame images of the security footage. More specifically, as you can see here, each image represents one frame of our flag being horizontally scrolled to the left on this cellular device. And if we scroll down, we can kind of see the motion of our flag as it goes across the phone screen until you get to the ending curly brace. So all you need to do is follow the frames and copy all the letters that you see scrolling across the phone screen in each image until you get a 32 character flag surrounded by the flag format as you see here. I've already done us the liberty of copying out those characters so you don't have to watch me type all those out. So we're just going to copy this flag here and we're going to paste it into the flag submission here. Click submit and we've completed this room. Alright, if you enjoyed the video, drop a like and subscribe to the channel to show your support. Turn on post notifications to get regular injections of cyber content directly into your feed. Check out our Patreon, join our Discord, and follow us on Twitter. Links in the description box down below. And leave any feedback or questions in the comments section down below. This is Almond Milk. Thanks for watching. Goodbye, world.